serious question. Is motovlogging going to be making a comeback in 2023? Let's talk about it. Okay, what's going on everybody? It is Ryan, also known as the Full Throttle Hog, uh, and I'm a motovlogger. I also dabble in some cinematic documentaries from time to time, so if you're into that, uh, go ahead and hit subscribe down below, or if you just want to see motovlogging come back, go ahead and like this video and hit subscribe down below. We are taking a ride in the backcountry roads of San Diego today in East San Diego. And I thought that we would talk about motovlogging in 2023. So let's do that right now. So if you are brand new to the channel, I am riding a 2020 Road Glide Special and I do quite a bit of touring around the country when I'm making different motorcycle documentaries. More on that in just a little bit. You know, I had a chance to, to kind of reflect on the channel throughout the, uh, the past couple of weeks. And a couple things that I realized was I kind of got away from motovlogging in general. And I don't really know why, except for we're all trying to stay up with the, the changes and the trends and the things like that. And as YouTube has gone more towards shorts, I'm trying to figure out a way to keep this long form content alive and thriving. So with that, I did some research and was kind of looking around and, and doing some studying and, and taking some notes and looking at analytics. And I kind of realized that motovlogging itself is not dead by any stretch of the imagination, but I do believe that we abandoned motovlogging a little bit early because I go back and I reflect on why this channel came to be and what I was watching, you know, years ago. Now, there is no way we can argue the fact that 2015 was the year of the vlogger and of the moto vlogger. If you started a channel in 2015 and you were constantly doing vlogging or moto vlogging, there is a high probability that right now you've got, uh, you've got a pretty good head start and you've established your channel. You know, and they say that everything comes full circle and I do believe that motovlogging will be making a comeback in 2023. I still find myself when I get a chance to watch YouTube that I'm following somebody who's just talking on their motorcycle and out on the road and I had to start asking myself, why is that? Well, if I think about when I first started watching YouTube for motorcycle content, I only watched people that were motovlogging because I enjoyed the view from the cockpit, from this area where it made me feel like I was on the bike and just riding along with them, or I could imagine myself on the bike that I was looking for, in example, this 2020 Road Glide Special. And I think there's something to be said about that because psychologically, and I'm not a doctor by any stretch of the imagination, but I do think that when you are getting ready to either purchase something or get into a certain field, you're going to dive in and try to be in that situation with that person that you're watching. And I think that's what motovlogging does, is it allows you to conduct a vlog while being on the motorcycle. And like I said, in 2015, it was booming. This channel originally started doing motovlogs. We're actually on our way up to Julian, California right now. And if you have been following this channel since its inception, our first motovlog was actually going up to Julian during COVID, trying to get some apple cider. That didn't happen. We'll see what happens today. On a side note, it's kind of crazy when people come into San Diego and they kind of miss out on some of these back country roads that we have here. And we're going up to Julian, which is about 60 miles east of San Diego. It takes you about two hours from the airport to get here, but it is just a beautiful backcountry road that makes you feel like you are in a place not California. And don't get me wrong, I do like riding down to the beach and, and through the boardwalk area and taking in that type of experience, 
but this is a whole different concept and Julian in itself is a pretty I would say old school you know Victorian style buildings and it just it's a great experience it, it's I wouldn't even say arguably I would say it's probably one of the best motorcycle destinations and locations in the country uh, obviously Julian known for its apple pie and uh, thought we would get up there today but back to the topic at, at hand obviously there is uh, influx of creators and with technology changing and cameras and phones and everything like that we're probably gonna see a lot more and I do believe that we've gotten away from this style content and I'm trying to think to myself like how many people right now are out there looking to maybe purchase their first motorcycle and they are just going to be watching these motive log experiences you know to make themselves feel like they are on that bike and it just helps them with their purchase later on down the road and there's something to be said too about the people that are maybe um, are down with a sickness or are unable to ride for one reason or another uh, whether it just be life um, that can live vicariously with these vlogs and I think it's I really do believe that it's something that's going to be making a comeback when people are getting maybe tired of that short form content that they will start making their way back to the vlogging style format not only to watch it but to create it and I think that that is uh, that's going to be a good thing because it gives you a chance to connect with the creator and not through just a 15 second funny clip but you get to hear that creator's thoughts and, and things like that now I'm not going to be getting away from doing the, the documentaries uh, and my films those just take a lot of time they they take a lot of preparation but in the interim on things that I want to be able to constantly produce on the channel I think that vlogging is is gonna be and more specifically moto vlogging is gonna be the, a good way to stay engaged with you guys because as I've told you before this is social media and on social media we're pretty much there to be social not every channel is for everybody I get that you should get that you know people watch different channels for different reasons and whether it be the creator personality or their filming techniques or uh, just the overall entertainment and joy you're getting out of watching that creator that's pretty much why you follow along man it's such a perfect day in Southern California I left the house uh, this morning it was like 45 degrees and I think up here the high is gonna be like 65 today just absolutely perfect perfect day to hang out with you guys and talk about this mode of vlogging stuff you know and I am curious on what you guys feel about mode of vlogging overall I was thinking about having um, you know a, a survey or put something out on on YouTube just to kind of see and, and get some feedback but I'll just ask you directly on do you want to see moto vlogging make a comeback and more specifically are you a creator yourself or do you just like watching the moto vlog experience because I still believe that that is something that people want people want to still experience moto vloggers and come along with them for their rides and I get that it's not for everybody. Like I said, no channel is, but I do believe that there's still a very high market for something like that. And I'd be curious to know your thoughts. So ever since I was a kid, uh, I'd probably say since the age of 16 years old and I got my driver's license, this is where I would stop every single time when I would come up to Julian. And I would take a minute to take in these views from this little ridge up here, it is absolutely amazing and I highly recommend it.
Okay, so we have made it to Julian, California. If you guys are not familiar, Julian is probably the top motorcycle destination spot when you're coming to the San Diego area. It's about 60 miles east of downtown. It's very old school. Um, it's right now during the holiday season, so everybody is out and about, even in the middle of the week. This is a place you wanna come and visit. Let's check out the town. Now the town of Julian is filled with these mom and pop shops everywhere. And of course, Julian is 100% known for its homemade apple pie. Okay, so having Julian apple pie in Julian, I mean, come on, that's awesome. All right, let's get back on the bike and then we'll close out this uh, photo book. So getting back to the main topic, is motovlogging coming back in 2023? I will tell you that I certainly hope so and I think I'm going to do my part to help it come back in 2023, which means you're probably gonna be seeing a lot more motovlogs on this channel doing exactly what we did today or we just go on rides because it's something that uh, I do enjoy filming along with the documentaries and, and short films that I like to produce. Uh, this is pretty much the foundation going back to the roots of why I started this channel. And I just want to recapture that and do just more regular motor vlogs for you guys. So if you haven't already, you guys can check out this video right here. That is the latest documentary and see what you guys think of that. Please go ahead and hit subscribe down below. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment on your views. And until next time, you guys ride safe, be safe. We'll catch you on the next one.